I can give you proof and show you somebody that's making it with us, that hasn't been to jail and still doing the shit that we're doing outside. Come on, what's I'm saying? I know somebody who. We not talking to regular people. He just told you to, you talking to rebellious people. You know what I'm saying? You, so you have to understand also that, that you're not dealing with that you're not dealing with spiritual. You're dealing with carnal. Okay. And I'm supposed to just sit here and relax and watch? What kind of man do you think I am? Yeah, right. Now you know we not from every brother here work. That's right. There's other jobs to do than sell drugs, my brother. You okay. serious? But how can you judge the person that's selling the drugs to feed his family? I'ma show you how. Hold up, but the person that's buying it, what the people are they paying? I'ma show you how. our brothers to be sober. We're not supposed to get caught up in the wickedness of this world. We can't tell you, we're not gonna sit here and just watch you do these things. Let's read that again. Book of Titus chapter two, verse two. That the aged men be sober. Right. Great. Serious. The Bible wants the black man to be serious. We gotta be serious about how we're supposed to lead our community. We can't lead our community thinking that this is the righteous way to live. Selling drugs ain't the righteous way to live. Right. We know that. We know that there's a better way to live. You know you can get a job. We know these things. That's right. A lot of our brothers came from that lifestyle and changed. That's right. So we can't let you believe that that's the righteous way to live. That's right. The Bible tells us that there's a righteous way for us to live. Let me get that in, in Proverbs. Proverbs 21. There's a way to see this right to a man. Yeah. Uh, Proverbs 21. Someone find that. Proverbs 21. The way we his death? Yes. 1625. Give me Proverbs 1625. Because a lot of us don't realize that the, the direction you're going in is going to lead you to death. A lot of us don't realize that the, the direction that we're going in is going to lead us to death. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. So there's a way that you may think is right. You may think in your mind that selling drugs is right. He read it. But the end thereof are the ways of death. But you don't realize that that way that you live is going to lead you to death. You don't realize that. Read again. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 6 verse 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. So God is telling you that there's a way that may seem right to you. You may think that that's the righteous way for you to live. Keep reading. But the end thereof are the ways of death. But he's telling you that the end thereof are the ways of death. Right. That means death comes from this lifestyle that we live in. Right. So we try to show our people that there's a better way for you to live. There's a better way for you to live and lead your life because we don't want the next generation to follow up in bad habits. We don't want the generation that we live in to think that that's the righteous way to live. We can't do that. We got kids now. We can't let our kids believe that's the righteous way to live. We can't do that. Let's read that again. We go to work. We go to school. We go to school. We get a job. How much money you guys pocket? He told me, and yo, he pulled out a stack right now. I'm gonna listen to what he gotta say. But he don't got no bread. No, my brother. My brother. My brother. My OG's in the hood right now. Bread. My brother. My brother. At the end of the day, I'm feeding my family. What you talking about? My brother. No, it does. Who came up in that lifestyle? Real talk. 
They either dead or in jail. Right. Right. That's oh. facts. That is not facts. All. The not majority all. of not our all. brothers, not the all. majority not of all. our brothers, not are all. in jail. I can tell. They hold on, hold on. Jail, but hold on, brother. come on. But if that's the facts. Hold on. If I can give you proof. Hold on. 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 If I can give you proof and show you somebody that's making it without, that hasn't been in jail and still doing the shit that we're doing outside, come on, what you saying? I know somebody who owns stores that came from selling drugs. I know people that own, I'm talking about a lot of shit. You can't, come on, we're talking about food trucks, clothing lines, a lot of shit. You can't, what are you talking about? Okay. What, what are you talking about? So here's what I'm trying to show you. This is what I'm trying to show you. No, we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. One thing, one thing, one thing. We gonna be with brothers. We gonna talk to each other with respect. Now what we try to show our brothers is that we can say selling drugs is a way out. What we try to show you is that in you doing that, you're destroying your community. Listen, That's what I'm trying to do. So here's the thing, my brother. So here's the thing. Wait, wait, real quick. So I so let me get this scripture for you. First John 3 15. Cause we gotta let you know that we go with what the Bible says. I gotta let you know that. Because I gotta do that. Because you can have the food truck. You can have the store, you can have these things, but if it's leading you to destroy your community, what worth is it? Right. What worth is it if it's destroying your community? There's no worth to it. Read. Read this the book of First John, chapter 3, verse 15. Read. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. The Bible says he that hateth his brother is a murderer. If you can sell your brother's crack and look how crazy they are, you killing them. Right. You killing them. So you can't, so how you going to accept money, drug money, to start a business? So that don't mean nothing. Look, Read sell, again. I don't sell drugs. I don't sell I'm talking, we, we dialoguing I, I with the question. brother. I'm talking with the brother first. I got a question. Let me answer this first. Hold on, hold your peace. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Read. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 15. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. The Bible says he that hates his brother is a murderer, right? Now keep reading. And ye know that no murderer have eternal life the, of, keep reading. abiding in him. The Bible says that there's no eternal life yeah. abiding in him. So a lot of us have brothers in these communities what about that person who don't have a care for their nation. So we got brothers who are billionaires, millionaires, but do they care about the state of their community? Is that a brother I'm going to pattern myself after? Hell no. Let me ask you one question. Hey, what's your question? question so what are you doing? And I'm talking about you. In fact, individually, all of you. What are y'all doing for the community? Except, hold on, hold on, time out, time out. But so, you keep talking, you keep going to the book. I'm talking about you. But so what, this, is what are you doing? That's, what are you doing? Oh, Luke, you can't go to the highways and byways. Get that. What are you talking about? Luke, I'm going to show you. Hey, about? hey, hey. Uh, Luke, uh, the violence. The violence. I'm going to show you. My oh, brother. No, no, be quiet. My brother, right now. Nah, my brother. Hey, no, I can't say it, B. I can't do that. That's in the hill right now. That's in the hill right now. We're going to keep paying for them. Paying for them. They rent. Put them to fucking hell. You can't say shit. You okay, so let me show you. Let me show you what we do. And Luke, you got me show. My brother, now here's my thing, my brother. My brother, you can't accept that. My brother, there's more to it than that. Now you can. No, we not bum. Every brother here work. That's there's, right. there's other jobs to do to sell drugs, my brother. Are you serious? There's other jobs out here. You can be a trade. You can do carpentry. Jesus the Christ was a carpenter. That's right. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? There's more that you can do with your life. Who are you talking, man? Come on, read, man. This is the book of Luke, Six. chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges. So God told the servants of God to go out to the highways and hedges. Keep reading. And compel them to come in. So our job is to teach you to repent. That's right. There's no future in drug dealing. There's no future in that. You cannot feed your family off of drug money and think that's success. And don't, and not all of us can live, we don't live like that. You are not going to let, I am not going to accept the fact that the only thing a black man is good for is selling drugs. I, I don't accept that. Right. I don't accept that. The Lord did not come, bring me on this earth to sell drugs to my people. That's, That's right. He did not put me on this earth for that. I don't know where you got that from. That's wrong, brother. You've been taught wrong. Youth into violence. So what we got in the community, we got plenty of things that we do out here. We have the youth violence organization. We just took our young brothers out to a hike at Sleepy Giant talking about discipline, how to get your mind right, how to go through hardship. Even when it's hard, you gotta push through. So what are you talking about, my brother? 
what you're not going to do is disrespect God's word. That's, right. Right. That's one thing you're not going to do. What we do is we teach God's commandments as it is written. We're not here for feelings or emotions. Right. The Bible told us what to do, so guess what? We're going to do it. That's, That's right. it. So we're not going to let no one try and think that they're going to call us. I don't know what you're trying to do, brother. You understand? My brother, do you see what's going on? I don't think you really realize what, you, what we're in. The Lord is here to deliver his people. May I ask you a question, though? What's your question, my brother? You know, I, I, I believe, trust me. You say you believe, but there's actions behind it. Right. Well, you know, you ever sinned before? Of course, we all sin. Everybody sin, right? All right. You still sin probably to this day. Okay, so, all right. Everybody falls short, bro. Okay. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? It's an understanding. It's, it's a way how to approach people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can go to the Bible and everything, and in the Bible, and it's all good because that's what you're supposed to do. That, 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 that's what you're supposed to live by, the Word of God, and I know that. But it's a way to approach people, to, to not get the response, the ignorant, negative responses. You know what I'm saying? It's a way to do things. Now, here's my thing. Now, here's my thing. What's your name? Monty. But I remember you from last week. Brother Monty. I remember you from last week, Brother Monty. So here's the thing. Our job is to go and teach our people his word and keep God's word. A absolutely. God's but now, there's, a thing, way, brother there's a way to do Monty, things. Brother Monty. Jesus thing. did things accordingly, my now, brother. Brother Monty, the way that the, the, the Christ that we were taught in church is not the Christ of the Bible. No, it's not. So no, it's not. Christ was not just. I know the, I know the difference. He wasn't talking soft like, hey, brother, you shouldn't do that. He was yelling at the Pharisees. He was yelling at the, the, the tax collectors. He was turning over tables. That's the Jesus, the Christ, the black Messiah that we learned. That's us, right? So then why are you, why you want us to be all, we're not supposed to be like that. Oh, that's a man right there. And he's wrong. And we gotta correct them but, but, with the but, Bible. But you have to understand, bro. You you haven't always been right. Okay. So you gotta understand, like these people that are not right now, now they don't see the way you see. Okay. They don't look at things the way you look at, cause you're on a you're on, you're on a whole different path, no, 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 a whole nother no. level. Back, so they don't they don't they don't look at things the way you look at things, my brother. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So you have to understand also that that you're not dealing with the, you're not dealing with spiritual. You're dealing with carnal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When you deal with carnal, when you deal with a carnal mind, you get carnal responses. Okay. So absolutely, you, when, 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 when you come at somebody hostile, kind of like, you're going to get a hostile response because you're not dealing with spiritual, a spiritual mind okay. or a spiritual heart. Okay. You're dealing with a carnal person okay. that don't understand spirituality. Okay. And when you deal with a person that don't understand spirituality, the first thing they think is you coming at them harshly, but it's not like that. But they don't understand that. So you have to come down a level. Now here's the thing, my brother. We came down a low level. It didn't, it wasn't, it didn't get escalated until we told to let the brother know we cannot elevate drug deals in our community. Right. I'm not gonna be a man. All the brothers here work jobs and they take care of their family, correct? Yeah. That's carnal. That's a carnal thing. It's a carnal thing. You know what I'm saying? And we try to show the brother, you can work a job like that and take care of your family. You can feed him off of honest living. Absolutely. So that if I'm letting him know that, he's telling me that I'm broke, I ain't got this, I got that. And I'm showing him in the scriptures. I'm showing him in the scriptures, my brother, that selling drugs is not right. Right. I'm not going to let him. Let me say, let me say this here's, here's my thing, my, brother Monty, brother Monty. Brother Monty, I understand what you're saying, my brother. I understand what you're saying. But you expecting that all these young brothers out here are going to accept soft talk. Yeah, a lot of them don't accept it. No, they not. So how am I? I'm not going to expect harshness either. So when you read the book of... They think you're coming at them wrong. I'm going to show you. When you go to the book of Jude, yeah, Jude 23. I'm going to show you something. Because there are some brothers that you can reach with sincerity. Like my brother John right here. Absolutely. Brother, I'm going to show you Monty. Brother John. Right, Brother John, was I yelling at you? Was I talking to you just respectfully? He was the one who was listening. The brother wasn't listening like that. So I'm not just going to talk soft. The word of God ain't soft. That's right. The word of God ain't soft. It's not, it's not so soft. I'm not going to talk soft. Let me go back to Brother Monty. You're dealing with, you're dealing with, you're I told you, Brother Monty, I'm telling you, not everybody's not going to accept being talked to just regular. Some people don't need some people don't need me to be loud. Some people can, I could talk to them regular. Right. But some brothers, some brothers not gonna accept no brother. Come on. They're not gonna accept it. Right. Read this real quick. 22, 22. 22. This is the book of Jude. Read. Verse 22. And some have compassion. So they, the Bible says some you can have compassion on. 
like I was telling the brother, compassion. Some, some exactly. Keep reading. And of some have compassion, right? Making a difference. Okay. And others save with fear. Others you got saved with fear. So tell you guys that no brother, you gonna die, brother. Right. You sell a drug, you gonna die. Right. That's facts. Facts. So I'm, if he get upset with that, that's not that. You gotta take it up with the Lord. That, right. All I'm telling you is what God told me to tell you. I don't disagree with you. So, no, I'm, I'm just telling you. I'm just saying though, you have to understand that. When you, and I have to keep going back to this, you're not dealing with the people of a spiritual sound mind like yourself. You're not dealing with them kind of people. So when you're not dealing with them kind of people, you're not going to get that kind of response. Brother Monty, God knows his people. Yes, he does. He know who he dealing with. He know what he made. Right, but man don't. I'm going to show you what he, I'm going to show you what he told me to do. Ezekiel 3. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 7. Bring it out. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. For they will not actually go to start at four. Watch this, Monty. Watch. Some people start don't four. accept it at all. Watch, period. Watch, watch this. Watch, watch. See, that's something you got. That's something. That's something you got to get a hold to. Somebody not. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter three, verse four. Watch this. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee out unto the house of Israel. So Christ taught us to go and teach the children of Israel, which are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's listen, right. Listen to the instructions he gave. Right, listen to what the instructions he said. Listen. And speak my words unto them. Don't speak your words, speak my words. Keep reading. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech. You're not speech to somebody that you guys speak eloquent to in the deep land. You're not talking to people like that. Keep reading. End of in hard language. Right. But to the house of Israel. Right. And what about the house of Israel? Keep reading. Not to many people of a strange speech. Right. And of a hard language. All right. Whose words thou cannot understand. Keep reading. Surely, had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. It says that if we talk soft to the other nations, they would have listened. Man. But to the children of Israel, keep reading. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. What he say? But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. It says that the children of Israel won't listen. Some That's people, not listen. I just got it's going to say there's more. Some people just not right. accept it. There's more. Keep reading. There's you can't more. Force nobody but they will not anything. hearken unto me. There's more. For all the house of Israel are impudent uh -huh. and hard hearted. It says that the children of Israel are hard hearted, hard headed. Keep reading. Behold. I have made thy face strong against their faces. So the Bible commands us to make our face strong against their face. That means we're not going to be playing with them. That's right. Exactly. So in us not playing with them, they might get upset. But we don't care. Right. Because we're doing our job. That's right. Read. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. Right. And their forehead strong against their forehead. Right. As an, admit, as an adamant harder then flinch. Keep reading. Have I made thy forehead? Right. And listen to this part. Read. Fear them not. Don't fear the children of Israel. Keep reading. Neither be dismayed at their looks. Don't get mad when they get up in your face. Don't get upset. Don't get scared. Keep reading. Though they be a rebellious house. What are they? A rebellious house. What are they? A rebellious house. God calls the children of Israel rebellious. Right. So God is letting me know as his servant, you're going to teach rebellious people. Right. Don't play with them. That's what he told me. I don't, he don't care if they call him. He don't listen, care. Bro, listen, bro. I'm I telling you, Brother it. Monty. Listen, Brother, brother Monty. What's listen, your name? What's your name? Seth. I'm trying to tell you, Brother, brother Seth, Monty. I get it. No. I agree. Monty, I get it. No, I'm here. Monty, I'm trying to show you, Monty. I'm trying to tell you. We not talking to regular people. He just told you tell, you're talking to rebellious people. You understand? If I'm telling people, stick up, stick up and rebellious. Right. That's what the Bible says. You can't talk to people like that soft. Right. Right. You can't talk to the regular. He told you. So, Monty, this is the thing. I'm, to, I'm letting you know that because if I want to teach how I want to talk, I wouldn't be getting all up all loud. I wouldn't do that. But the scriptures say that you're supposed to be make your face hard against their face because you're talking to a rebellious people. Right. You understand that, Monty? So I can't go off of how they react. I can't do that. It's not about feelings. So exactly. God don't care about, about your feelings. The, God don't care about your feelings. The feelings don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing to them. We're supposed to feelings do feelings what the happen. Bible says, Monty. That's we right. We can't do what we want no more. What we want is, you see how the black community looks? That's because we do what we want. Can you ask another question? What's can your you, next question? Can you see yourself in some of them? Huh? Can you see yourself in some of them? I can see some of them changing if they get their mind right. Absolutely. I'm trying to open to a 
talk to you enough. Come on, come on, come on. But let me, let me, let me finish what I'm saying, bro. No, I'll say. let you speak. Let me speak. Go ahead, brother Marcy. You see yourself in some of them, right? Okay. Because at one point you probably did some of the same things they do. Absolutely. All right? So it took you some time to get here. Okay. If somebody had to come to you, the same way you come at somebody. Doing exactly what I'm doing right, right? now. Right, right, so, right? So, so at the end of the day, again, you're not going to get. No, Monty, you lose. You lost it again. You expecting me to lower down. No, I'm not expecting Monty. you to do anything, yes, my are. brother. No, Monty. I'm not. I'm not I'm expecting you to lower you your know. standards. Do what you're doing. I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling you to lower anything for anybody. Exactly. I'm not telling you to do none of that, brother. Okay. So, so, so don't put words in my mouth. Okay. Understand what I'm saying? All right. I'm just trying to explain to you that you will deal with they were. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. So you're no different than them because you changed your life around. I am different because I changed. That's right. I am you're different. still no different than them. Yes, you're still you, a they man, can change bro. Too. You're still they, a man. They can change too, my You still sit they every day. But do you sit every you day? Can bring real change to the do black you sit community, every Monty? day, bro? Brother Monty, give me what sin is. Do you give me what sin is, Monty? Because I can see where this is going. We all day. sin. All right, and we repent and change. Sin sin, right? Right? We repent and change. Day. No, you don't, Monty. I'm because you will be on the Sabbath. Finish. You will be keeping the Sabbath day holy, Monty. Stop. No, I'm not, Stop I'm it, not brother Monty. Nothing, brother. Because you want to know how you're doing? We're not here to justify evil. I'm not here to justify evil. I'm not justifying nothing. So stop. I'm not justifying anything. Let's read that again. I'm not justifying nothing. First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law. The Bible says when you break God's commandments, you are in sin. Our job as teachers is to show you what sin is. It's breaking God's commandments. Understand. So when you go to 1 Corinthians 3.16 and talks about smoking weed and selling drugs, you are killing people. you killing people. You understand? And you sell it to your own people. And I'm supposed to just sit here and relax and watch? What kind of man do you think I am? Right. I used to be an armor bear. Fuck this shit. I don't know if you know what an armor bear is. Yeah, we know what okay. it is. So I'm familiar with the Bible. Okay. But how can you judge the person that's selling the drugs to feed his family? I'm gonna show you how. Hold up, but the person that's buying it, what position are they playing? I'm gonna show you how. Let me get that first. I'm gonna show you first Timothy chapter three. I'm gonna show you how. Yeah. I'm gonna show you how. Yeah. That's, a good question. That's, a good question. that's a good question. Because a lot of times we have been taught to think that that's the way out. Well, a lot of us think that basketball is the way out, selling drugs is the way out, what is it, being a rapper is the way out? No, no, no but I'm saying that. No I'm saying, what if that's all you got? No, there's other ways. Right. I'm trying to show you there's other ways that you can feed your family that don't, that don't consist of you selling drugs. I'm trying to show no, you No, no, I know that. I know that. So I'm going to read you that. I'm going to read you that. 1 Timothy 3. I'm going to show you. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1. 1. This is a true saying. If a man desire office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. Now the Bible talks about the men who are in leadership are bishops. And, they, and it's a good work to be a man and lead your community. Keep reading. A bishop that must be blameless. Now the Bible says as a man, a bishop, you're supposed to be blameless, right? Now let me check. Let me ask you a question. Is it right to sell drugs? No, 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 right. I'm asking this one more time. Is it right to sell drugs to your people? It's not. No. My, why you, come on, man. Is it right to sell it not to your people? It's not okay to sell to anybody. It's not okay to sell drugs to anybody. Right. Because you're destroying that person. You understand? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So we on the same page? Yeah. Alright, keep reading. A bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife. So God is giving you the criteria of what it means to be a man and a leader in the black community, right? It says, keep going. Vigilant. Vigilant means to watch your community. Sober. Now the Bible says that we as men are supposed to be sober. Now if you can't hide, yes. you're not sober. Would you agree? That's simple. So if we know these things, our job is to find other means to get money. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 